but I had two to this one, hard. so it'll be hard. <laughs> so um, I think we should get started. Let's talk about the three, two, one backup rule and what is it? So do you want to dive into it or you want me to cover it today, Luke? Yeah, I can go ahead and get started. So the basic premise of the uh, three, two, one backup rule is that you should have three copies of your data, this uh, primary one, and then two backups two different types of storage mediums, kind of like an either an internal drive or an external NAS, cloud backup like Magnus Mox provides, and then one copy stored offsite that's physically separated from your main location. So we're hoping to dive into that. Um, and something else is that, you know, you need to make sure that you're testing those backups as well. You know, it shouldn't just be a checkbox. I'm gonna say that numerous times, is that a backup that you haven't tested a backup that you have not tested is a backup that you do not have. And so if you don't test them, how do you know the backup is really restorable? And so it's things like that. And if you need help uh, with integrating into your RMM solution or anything like that, just feel free to reach out to us as well. So, um, so some of the things that people need to do about building on top of the 321 uh, backup strategy is that you need to make sure that you have regular restore testing and verification. And so uh, what that means is, as we hinted last month, is that um, if you're not doing restoration verifications, you should at least start small and then start to document that plan of how you're going to perform those restorations on an ongoing basis. No, I mean, I totally agree. I almost kind of like to think of backups almost as an insurance policy. Um, hopefully you never have to use it, but when you do need to use it, and again, hopefully that never comes, but when you do need to use it, you want it to be ready and available. You don't want to have to lean on it and then have it not work at all. 